Tuahome and Salim Vuria should also be lining. Two minutes each. Harambe. UDA. Alafu badaya mutasema pesa mfukoni haki kwa wote. My friend and brother, Honorable William Ruto, congratulations. We have been in this hall since 2007. But I think this election to our leaders here, this is going to be the most decisive election. This election will be a turning point in the history of Kenya. And why do I say so? This election will be between the ordinary citizens and the bourgeois within the meaning of Stalin, the famous Stalin of Russia. This election will be about the debt the 13 trillion debt, and more so the 7 trillion debt that was borrowed courtesy of the Hanshek brothers. This election will be decisive, and I want to speak for where I come from and the religion that I profess. This election will be about end to impunity and extrajudicial killings. Many Kenyans, never in the history of this country, under a robust bill of rights, their bodies are found in our best of our rivers, in the Yala River and in Tana River. Many mothers, in northern Kenya, and we will go to Wajia, Garissa, and Mandera, and Lamu, and Kwale. Many women have lost their brothers, their husbands, their sons through state organized extrajudicial killing. This government that we are going to form must stop and must protect the lives of innocent Kenyans. This election is going to be about protecting the 2010 Constitution. This election will be about those who tell us that for you to ascend to public office, your father and your family must have a history. This election will be very, very decisive because for the first time in our country, a sitting deputy president was humiliated both in his personal capacity and in the office that he holds that the Constitution created. And I want to thank the framers of the 2010 Constitution that insulated the office of the Deputy President. If that was not done, today William Ruto will not be sitting here as the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Let me make one confession because confessions must be made and confessions must be stated. I was the best friend of President Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy. And I remember one morning in one of the most rare parliamentary groups in State House that the president engaged me and he engaged me 
on his relationship with the deputy president. And he convinced me. Silazima Toboy. The president, for the first time in that morning, we had a 45 minute talk, man to man. And the president told me for the first time that there's something called split loyalty. That, Honorable Duale, you are the best of my best. You have delivered your duty as the first majority leader. But the problem is that you are a friend to William Ruto. And that we have completed the purge of the leadership in parliament. We have sorted out Murkomen and his team and Susan. We have sorted out Ichungua and his team in the National Assembly. But I have been told because of your split loyalty and friendship with William Ruto, the snake is still, the head of the snake is still in parliament. And I had only one answer for President Uhuru Kenyatta, my very good friend. I told him I'm a man of God and I have a, I'm a Muslim and I have walked a long journey with William Ruto. I am ready. I am ready to take a walk from your administration. I am ready to, talk, to take a walk with the coveted constitutional office of the leader of majority than me being involved in your politics of deceit and betrayal and backstabbing. I shook his hand and I, we, went to the, we went and walked to the parliamentary group. I will give you more when you get an opportunity to read the book that I'm about to complete. We must say in this election, we must say in this election, that we are tired of politics of deceit, of betrayal, by more so those who occupy the highest office in our land. And my good friend, Honorable William Ruto, when you become a president, inshallah, I want to beg you, I want to beg you, please don't allow brokers and drunkards and thugs who will work in your office to undermine and humiliate both the character and the person and the office of future deputy presidents who I am sure they are sitting among us here. You must stop that. And because you're a man of God, since 1963, when Jomo Kenyatta became president, since Mze Moy's time, and now under President Uhuru Kenyatta, the common denominator in the Kenyan politics was none other than politics of deceit, backstabbing, and betrayal. That must end. And that's why over 145 members of parliament of the National Assembly from all regions and all communities and all religions, we stood on their high moral ground and say, we will not leave William Ruto at the slaughterhouse. We will not. Today is a good day, and my final comment is this. It is very sad, very sad to hear Gideon Moy, 
who in my opinion is a product of corruption who in my opinion not the opinion of the people of Kenya who is a product of corruption from the day he was born to now is trying to give us a lecture and a scheme of work on how to fight corruption. And I am so happy that in the event his proposal and suggestion on how to deal with the corrupt people passes, I want to ask my friend Senator Gideon Mohi, you will be the first one to be hanged. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Alice Ohome, Governor Mvuria, to prepare, and also Mweshimuwa uh, Victor Munyaka.